It's been playing for 15 years on countless McDonald's commercials around the world. But who wrote this jingle? That has proven very difficult to answer. Many assumed it was Justin Timberlake and Pharrell Williams since the slogan was based on one of their songs called I'm Loving It. But then in 2016, rapper Pusha T said he was the one responsible. You also are involved in the McDonald's jingle, uh, I'm loving it, right? Yes. Okay. And then the creative agency in Germany, responsible for the campaign, said Pusha T had no involvement. They said, quote, it's fucking ridiculous. It's bullshit. Jeez. This is about to get violent. Let's settle this once and for all. Welcome back, everybody. 44 minutes after Ronald McDonald probably not smiling today. The world's largest restaurant company reported a 7% 2003 drop. McDonald's stock is falling. They needed a miracle, a miracle ad campaign to turn around their image. Four straight quarters of declines. What are they going to do? Um, McDonald's is in a really tough situation right now. Why was after it holding a competition with 14 different ad agencies, a German the, agency the wins the bid with a campaign called I Love It. Chains. The German French agency French delivered the French tagline French. I'm loving it and also French the five French. syllable sound signature of ba da ba ba ba. But McDonald's immediately noticed a big problem. Music was supposed to be a huge part of the campaign, but no one could wrap their heads around how to make these five syllables into something musical. So they first called in Butch Stewart, who was a jingle genius and had composed many songs for McDonald's in the past as well as Oprah. And he welcomed the challenge of I'm Loving It. I've been doing McDonald's spots for 25 years and I'm the most excited about this one because we got motifs. Butch collaborates with his son and they start writing. If the McDonald's executives could see the musical approach working, then the campaign would be a go. But if not, the campaign would almost certainly be scrapped. And weeks later, Butch presented to McDonald's corporate. Whoa. McDonald's has a huge movement near with a McDonald's here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let me sing it in my way. Yo, we got a rhythm and it's ba da ba ba ba. We got a rhythm and it's ba da ba ba ba. After Butch's presentation, McDonald's doesn't like it. They absolutely love it, so much so that they want this to be their very first ever global campaign. And what happens next is kind of like the scene from the movie Inception. The subconscious is motivated by emotion, right? Not reason. We need to find a way to translate this into an emotional concept. How do you translate a business strategy into an emotion? That's what we're here to figure out, right? They want to ingrain their slogan into culture using a pretty clever tactic. They plan to hire a hit maker producer to write a song around the words, I'm loving it. Enter Pharrell Williams. Their plan is to disguise the slogan in with a catchy pop song and not to reveal the McDonald's connection until much later, after the song has been released to radio. But in order to make I'm Loving It massive, they needed a massive star to sing their manufactured hit. Enter Justin Timberlake. They offered him six million dollars to record How the track. Look the same for and he like does. 50 oh, years no. in it goes on a set list during his concert tour Justified, and it goes to radio as if it were an original JT single. And for a song that's selling hamburgers, it does pretty well. It cracks the top 100 in the United States and then hits number one in Belgium. A month later, McDonald's holds a press conference telling the world they're going to use I'm Loving It as part of their first global campaign. So now the world was familiar, McDonald's was ready to premiere its first I'm Loving It TV ad. They took the hook from the Justin Timberlake song and added a new rap and it sounded like this. I'm loving it. Is this the place to eat? Since I don't cook, I'll just rock to the beat. I'm loving it. Hang on. Did you hear who was rapping? Let's play that again. Since I don't cook, I'll just rock to the beat. I'm loving it. Yep, I think that's Push a T. So who Sound like wrote what? to me. Let's recap. The slogan and signature sound is written by a German ad agency. 
The campaign was given new life by Butch Stewart and his son. The JT single that went to radio was written by Pharrell Williams. The first global I'm Loving It commercial was Pharrell Williams, Justin Timberlake, and Pusha T. So how do Pusha and Justin feel about their deal today? Any regrets? What you got? What you want? What you what, just up front? No yeah, publishing? Just up front. Oh, half a man. But I half a man. That part. I want artists to know that part. Yeah. Keep it publishing, man. I'm loving it. Been running for how long now? Uh, Who uh, knows what it'll be. As for Justin, he said in a GQ article that he quote regretted the McDonald's deal. And finally, how does Ronald McDonald feel about the deal? Well, I think he's probably the only one that's still loving it. The stock price in 2003, before I'm Loving It began, was $12. Today, the stock price is almost $150. And their slogan has never changed. Ooh, I'm loving it. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah! Ooh, I'm loving it. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's a, it's a good slogan. It's a good slogan. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. <laughs>